Thank you, Mr. President and my colleagues. Mr. President, I not only hope that you uh, defend this amendment and call it germane, this is necessary that you do that. It's appropriate. It's the right thing. It's not the right thing for Republican members on this side of the aisle to help our beleaguered taxpayers in this highly and unbelievable inflation environment. It's for yours and our constituents here. The gas tax is now, was, and always will be an egregious and discriminatory tax. I'll talk a little bit about why that is later. And I'm hoping that my colleagues will stand up for your constituents during this time of inflation when there's unbelievable pressure at the pumps for them, as has been mentioned, to get to their job, to get their kids to school, to get to their doctor's offices, to do the things they have to do, middle and lower income individuals who aren't millionaires or billionaires who don't care, who don't have a business and can pay whatever they want to pay for a gallon of gasoline. But I have to tell you, I'm not going to be surprised if you do declare that, and I hope you don't, and my colleagues allow this to happen. Because my colleagues, you know that 319,000 people walked out of the state of New York last year. They voted with their feet. You know we're number one or two, totalistically, holistically in taxes, the New York State of New York. You know we're number one, and that's for sure, in Tax Freedom Day. And this is another tax that adds up to making that possible. And for my constituents and everybody listening, I know most of you know that, I mentioned it before, Tax Freedom Day is when any of the workers who toil in New York State actually take a dollar home that doesn't go to taxes here in New York State. It's the middle to the end of May, close to five months. You're not free from taxes close to five months in New York State. And this adds to that during a time of inflation. It's unconscionable to say we'll continue on four and a, four and a half dollars for a gallon of gasoline before the tax is put on it. It's moving towards five dollars. And listen, we should never have to wait until it's four and a four and a half dollars to say we have to eliminate the taxes on it. We never should have put taxes on gasoline. It's essential. Now, it may not be essential when you have mass transportation in subways and you can get to work and you can get to the doctor. It's essential for upstate New York. And I have to go back a little bit in years to illustrate the difference between the way we feel about this type of tax and taxes in general, and I think the way you feel. In 2008, there were two members, I think, on this floor who are here now, Senator Lanza and Senator Griffo. In 2008, I was in the New York State Assembly. This is a release I put out in the New York State Assembly with the bill that Senator Lanza and Senator Griffo passed on the floor in 2008. Tedisco, assembly full of baloney while taxpayers are running on empty to suspend the gasoline tax in 2008. But we did it again in 2011. I sponsored it again. It passed in 2008, didn't pass the assembly, no Republicans were, were there in the majority. 2011, put a bill in to suspend the tax. It passed the New York State Senate. Senator Greg Ball carried the bill then. I'm proud of the fact this is the third time this Senate, twice with the Republican majority, able to pass it. This time, I hope we'll able to pass it with the support of the majority on the other side, who is in control now here in the assembly, all levers of power, in the governor's office, this will show what your levers of power will do to the taxpayers of New York State. Because when the majority was here with the Republicans, it passed twice already. And I sponsored it first in the New York State Senate, 2008 and 2011. This is a discriminatory tax. It's egregious. It shouldn't have been there in 2008. It shouldn't have been there in 2011. It shouldn't be here now in 2022. It should be suspended right now. But there's a clear definition of who cares about their taxpayers and what you do to take care of them. Ironically, I sat on that side over there when I was in the majority here for two years. Very short time, okay? 
Now I'm on this side of the aisle. And let me tell you what the irony is. <laughs> Look what I found in this drawer. That's Bino. Maybe that's what the Democrats think they should give to the taxpayers they represent. But that's not the type of gas pain which my constituents are having right now. They're having pain at the pump. They don't need Bino. What they need is the sp suspension of the gas tax at the pump. And this is the only people in town on this side of the aisle. My good friend on the other side brought it out. I appreciate it for him. I brought it out 11 years ago. We'll bring it out again every day if we have to. Think about it. Think about how egregious this tax is, really for everybody, but especially for upstate New York. They don't need Bino, my colleagues. They need a, 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 a real elimination of that tax. I would ask you to think about the people driving all over this state to get to work, to get their kids to school, to get the groceries, as has been mentioned. And please, don't just say this is germane because you have levers of power here in the assembly and in the governor's office. Stand up for your constituents and tell them you can help them by eliminating this egregious and geographically discriminatory tax because it's geographically discriminatory more in upstate New York. I ask you to support this amendment.